Last week, I was teaching a class, maybe it was around seven o'clock at night. It was a little bit chilly, so I wanted something a little bit hot that wasn't coffee, because coffee always keeps me awake really late at night. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I went up to the waitress and said, can I have a cup of tea, please? And she said, yeah, sure. And it was one of those places that I could watch her make it, and I was horrified. So first she put in the milk, then she put in the tea bag, and then she put the boiling water, and I was like, oh no. Who the cameraman? Inappropriate! What are you doing to my cup of tea? And it was expensive. I had to sit there and watch her make my cup of tea incorrectly. It really upset me. So what I'm gonna do in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cup of tea British style to make the cup of tea. We would use something called a kettle. So you press a button and the water boils. Here in Brazil, we have these types of things, which I quite, li I quite like it. It's like, it makes me feel like I'm camping. You're like, I'm making a cup of tea with bare grills. So you need this full of boiling water, which I do have now, and you need a cup. So guys, don't laugh, but I do every morning have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee from a, a cup with my face on it, which I guess makes me kind of narcissistic. What I have is the closest I have to like tea in uh, my country, which is these twinings. I would never ever drink twinings in England because it's like it's a really posh tea, but I don't really know any others. Because when you go to a supermarket in Brazil looking for tea, you have chamomile tea, you have vanilla tea, you have rosemary tea, you have all of these different types of tea. And I'm like, no, I just want tea. So this, I guess, is the closest English breakfast. It comes in a wrapper like it's a condom. And here it is. So what you do, you put in your tea bag into the cup and then you pour the hot water. So fill the, the boiling water. But some people will argue that maybe the tea bag goes in after, but I always put the tea bag in first. And then you have three or four minutes to wait until the tea is a nice, beautiful brown color. So I'm going to use that time to talk a little bit about drinking tea in my country. Guys, let me tell you one thing that we never do in my country. We never drink tea at five o'clock. Never. We never ever drink tea at five o'clock on purpose. I don't know how this stereotype, how this myth started, but I have never had tea at five o'clock and thought, oh, it's five o'clock, I must have a cup of tea. Um, I love the idea though of just like the streets of London being deserted at five o'clock. Like in that film, uh, I think it's 28 Days Later. And another thing that um, I think confuses um, people, I remember I have a student and uh, her mum came in once and her mum said, Andrew, I've got you some tea, some British tea. And I'm like, wow, amazing. And she had some biscuits as well. And I was like, wow, they said, thank you so much. And I said, and do you have any um, milk to go with the tea? And she looked at me like, I thought, and I said, do you have any milk? And she looked and she said, um, Yes, we do. Uh, would you like hot milk or cold milk? And I'm like, it's so strange because this is something that like British people, we do all the time. I think it's estimated British people drink 165 million cups of tea a day. So for me, this question was like, what? So I have some, some milk and it came straight out of the fridge. What I'm gonna do now is just pour a little drop. So my tea's almost ready. Usually I would wait, but I'm making a YouTube video today. So just a little bit, just a drop of milk. Beautiful. So I'm not gonna have any sugar. Ooh, look at the color of that, delicious. And as soon as you are ready with the tea, so my tea's almost done now, you take the tea bag out. You don't leave the tea bag in. Beautiful. So guys, I hope I've been informative today. If you do have a British person in your house and he asks or she asks for a cup of tea, now you know how to make it. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a like and I will speak to you again next week.